Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the programme, there's a fishing competition coming up, and it's called The Biggest Ray in the Bay, which is a catchy one, and I'm delighted to welcome Robert King to tell us all about it. Robert, you're welcome to us here on Calamar Community Radio. Thanks very much, and good evening to all. Um, Robert, this one, The Biggest Ray in the Bay Sea Angling Competition, when is this taking place? We are planning, or we are having it taking place on Sunday the 15th, now that's on Sunday week and we're going to fish for about five hours between 12 and 5 and registration for it will be down at the boat club from about 11 o'clock and um, all points of the bay are available to fish from the shore and as I say, as you mentioned, uh, it is all about catching the biggest ray in the bay. Okay, so this is exclusively ray fishing rather than any kind of fishing. It is indeed, it is indeed, but um, it, it, it pretty, pretty much started about a year ago, myself and uh, another gentleman called uh, Jerry Kelly, who lives local. We just met up um, through another club, and we decided to gauge what interest there might be in the area to take up sea angling. Um, I mean, we've huge species around the area, as you all know, congers, rays, pollock, but Clifton Bay is, is specifically known all over the country among shore fishing anglers as being a great place for, for, for rays. So um, we just decided, you know, let's gauge what interest is in the area and uh, let's run the biggest ray in the bay competition and just leave it at rays and uh, and see how we go from there. Okay, so how is the format of this particular competition? The format for, for this particular one is, is very simple. There is going to be catch and release. So any ray you catch, you will measure the ray wing to wing with, with, with a measuring uh, stick provided. It's a meter long stick that uh, most angler, most shore anglers would be familiar with. Uh, you will measure your ray wing to wing, take a photograph, and at the end of the competition, after five o'clock, we'll all meet up and myself and Jerry then will, will check all the photographs and uh, hopefully they'll, uh, hopefully we'll have uh, nice big numbers, nice big, uh, nice big long fish. <laughs> Okay, so I mean, what kind of sizes are have you been finding over the last while? As you say, you've been kind of doing it yourself for yeah, a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm a few years now fishing in around Clifton Bay, and the rays at the moment, wing to wing, you're looking at anything up to 70 centimeters, which is quite a big fish. Uh, weight wise, to translate that, that into weight, you're looking at seven, eight, nine pound ray, which is which are which are good fish. And the whether they're getting all the good feeding out of our bay or not, I'm not too sure what's what's tackling them up, but they're. Uh, they're generally quite large, and um, especially for the new anglers that that I've uh, that that'll be partaking to get a to get a seven eight nine pound ray on the end of your rod, especially with the size of them and the width of their wingspan. You know, it, it'll be a good fight. It'll be it'll be uh, it'll be interesting for them to say the least. Okay, and I presume in that the number of hours I mean, you say you're out for five hours, it won't be just one ray you'll be catching. You'll hope no, be no, no, we're, we're, yeah, no, no. We're hoping we're 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 going to ask everybody to to at least measure three. And for obvious reasons, if, if, any, if there is a draw or if, 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 if we have a lot of fish of a similar length, at least we can uh, go on to the next fish and so forth. And also to create a kind of a record, um, I'm expecting anything up to 25 anglers on the day so far. That's what's confirmed. And, you know, it'd be nice also to get a figure on how much fish is actually in our bay. Um, we're surrounded by coastline. And very few people fish the coastline in the, in, 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 in the way that, well, say myself, Jerry, and a few more, a few more do. Um, and and they've been interested to see what actually is in the bay and, and what size they are. Are they all roughly the same size? Is there smaller fish to be used as a spawning ground, etc.? So by recording everything you catch, we should get a bit of information out of that, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I mean, obviously, I mean, do you, um, you or do other people catch the, them to eat, or do you just catch them for the sport? I, I have, yeah, I have, yeah. They're a devil to skin, but uh, <laughs> their ray, ray wings can be quite tasty, all right, so they can. They're actually, they're, they're actually used quite a lot um, in the famous uh, fish and chip restaurant in Dublin. I think it's Burshoff, they call it. Yeah. Uh, the ray, ray wings would be, uh, ray wings would be, would be a popular, uh, would be a popular choice. Uh, personally, my fishing is, is generally is catch and release. Uh, very rarely I would be would be keeping them, and it's just a thrill to see how big how big I can catch them and, and, and that. But um, anyone who wants to 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 on the day to uh, bring their dinner home, they're more than welcome to do it. Yeah. But uh, from uh, from a sea angling kind of uh, potential club point of view, we generally uh, we generally is catch and release a lot of it. You know. Yeah, because I mean, I, I we used to catch ray an awful lot when I was younger. It was you know we used to just go out in the boat directly from the house there in front, that's right, that's and right. we used to catch them. And uh, we used to love the the ray wings for as a, a, a dinner when you came home after a day out <laughs> of the bay. Um, so I'm just kind of wondering, do you have to let every one of them back, or can you keep one? Well, no, no, anyone who wants to, absolutely, absolutely. But as with every every form of angling, whether trout angling or salmon or sea angling, you know, take what you want, take what you're going to use, you know. Yeah. What we don't want on the day um, is 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 just wholesale slaughter. 
yeah. you know that that wouldn't be really on either so uh, definitely if anybody wants to keep something for themselves absolutely I know personally if I get a large fish he might be going home <laughs> it'd be a nice trophy to show off you know yeah, yeah. but um so, so it is. It, it, it's open to bring you to your home, of course, um, providing people aren't going to take more than they need. You know, there's no point in um, just slaughtering for the sake of it. You know. No, absolutely not. I mean, just enough, as you say, to take enough yeah. to, to feed no, whoever no. number of family you have. Um, now, the, the rules I've just gone through it here. It's, they're they're pretty um, tight rules. I mean, it gives you um, very, it lays it out very straightforward for yeah. you. Um, yeah. That obviously will all be given to everybody so that they'll be fully yeah. aware of that. On the day when when a person arrives, I mean, fishing is from twelve to five, and any. So everyone, if you want to get your good fishing mark in the bay, um, you'll want to be getting down to me at about 11 o'clock so you can head out in your car. And I will give you a sheet of paper, and if you haven't got a match ruler, I will give you a match ruler as well, um, so you can measure your fish. But they are specific because, like every competition, you know, they're, 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 they're stringent, but everybody has to, has to, play, has to, has to be off the same hem sheet, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean... You'll get a measuring stick, you'll pay your registration fee, you'll get your measuring stick, you will, um, you know, we'll just make sure you have a phone or a camera that can take a decent picture. And um, basically anywhere in the bay is, is up for grabs, anywhere, starting at the White Lady, draw an orderly line across the slopers and anywhere inside in the bay. And uh, from my own experience for the last couple of years, fishing, there's plenty of big fish in there. You don't need to go any further, you know? Okay, okay. Now, uh, you're still looking for a bit of sponsorship and uh, help. We are. Well, the, 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 the whole idea behind this, yeah, this this competition specifically, it's the first one like this that's been run in Clifton. And, uh, you know, we, as I say, we're, we're all living beside the sea. We've miles and miles of coastline and very, very little of this. And I couldn't believe there wasn't a sea angling club around here when I went to investigate. I just assumed there'd be one in some part of the area. And myself and Jerry are members of a club in Galway, so we said, well, why not, as I say, gauge the interest, set up a good competition like this. If there's enough members, we'll get enough people on board. Now, the idea of, of, of advertising with anyone who wants to get involved in it, like every club, you need a few bobs to, to get started up. If we can have 25 anglers, local anglers, and especially teenage and younger anglers, coming out the next day, we're going to want to set up a small club. So we're hoping if there's any local businesses around that may want to just, you know, give us a hand out, we might get a little bit of gear, buy a few measuring rulers, and get the locality, get the local, specifically the teenage group that are around town that aren't involved in sport. There isn't a lot else for them, so angling is a great outlet for them. And it's competitive angling, because as I say, at the end of the day, show fishing, it is a competition. And that's what we're specifically trying to do. Um, if, if any of your listeners are out there, just they only have to go online and just Google any sea angling website, Clifton and Roundstone and Renville and Plegan, they're constantly being mentioned. You wouldn't mm-hmm. believe the amount of species that's around here and um, the amount of fish that's around here. So it's to create a club, to create a bit of, uh, to create a bit of um, advertising for the area, and it will drag people in. Um, sea fishing clubs, they're all over Ireland. You get groups of lads, 10, 15, 20 lads, heading away for a weekend. We can't do that without getting the businesses in with us to help us to kind of give a bit of advertising for the area and for, for, and for what we're trying to develop, you know. Mm-hmm. So this is all shore fishing you're talking about yeah. here? Yeah, shore fishing at the moment, shore fishing at the moment. We, 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 if we do, which we are planning in January to set up a proper, we aren't sure of a name yet, but it'll be a sea angling club for the area. Boat angling will obviously come, in, come on stream as well. Um, specifically shore angling at the moment, which is, as I said, just a gauge an interest um, on 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 the on the people in and around, and it's from Roundstone to Renville, it's the whole area, Roundstone to Renville, that we're, we're 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 aiming to get people interested. So, um, boat angling, of course, will will become part of it as well. Mm-hmm. But it's just it, specifically being the title, the Ray in the Bay. People are actually talking about it because it is the Ray in the Bay. It's it's a, it's a catchy enough, <laughs> yeah. catchy enough slogan, you know. Yeah. So that's what we're specifically at, at now at the moment, anyway. We're going to give it a good go, and hopefully the local people will support us. You don't need a lot of tackle for it. Decent rod, decent half, half decent reel, bit of mackerel bait. Johnny King will have plenty of it on the pier on on on, on, the, on the square on on, on Friday, and um, that's all you pretty much need to start off, you know. Okay, just just on, before I let you go on this one, because I, I was talking to somebody just recently, and we were talking about the whole idea of um, beach fishing and you know fishing from the sand and yeah. kind of they were, they were actually there was a family that I was talking to over the summer and they were fishing and they were they kind of saying that they were surprised that there weren't there wasn't more of it here in, in Connemara. Yeah. They, they weren't from this area, and I was just saying, well, no, it isn't that popular. I know they do it a little bit in Roundstone, but yeah. what's the story with beach fishing? 
the it's actually it amazed me and I mean I'm born and reared in the area as you know and until I started into the, and I, and I, I, I trout angle and salmon angle most of my life until I started into the sea fishing a few years back it would amaze me how much beach fishing there is let her get turbot play stab slounder all edible all beautiful fish and you literally can catch them with a small spinning rod and a little bit of bait you have all through the white strand beaches up, up Mayo all the way back in Inter on Clegan Roundstone Gurchine it is incredible the amount of fishing um, that is around the place. Um, my last session was only three weeks ago in Lettergesh Beach, and I bought four lovely turbot home. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> yes, why, why is it not popular here? I don't know, and that's that's what we're trying to gauge. That 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 is that is that I don't know, and and it's very very hard to put your finger on it. Um, the West um, Connemara here has always been very sporting. We've had our rugby, we've had our football, we've had our soccer, and I actually think there's been nobody really to direct it. The boat fishermen have been fantastic. But it's this, you know you have your charter boats and they've been brilliant and they've brought a lot of people around the place. But I think shore fishing it's nice to go shore fishing with a few people, and rather than going on your own, you're not going to hitch all your gear and head out to the guest or gurkhing around some. Whereas if you have three or four or five people with you, it creates a bit as I say more of a club atmosphere, mm-hmm. and that's exactly what we're trying to do to develop it. And uh, hopefully after after Sunday week, if it's a good success, which I'm which is looking like it will, if the weather gods look down on us. Mm-hmm. And um, we're definitely going to um, we're definitely going to uh, progress this a little bit further and um, get as many people as we can into the sport. And um, it is a sport. Not everybody plays rugby. Not everybody plays soccer. Not everybody plays mm-hmm. football. So yeah. um, it is a sport at the end of the day, and that's what we're going to try and do. Yeah, because I think I remember being out in uh, Gurchin one day when there was a fishing competition from I think Dublin or somewhere with the the, the, the beach fishing, and it was like right. thirty or forty people. Yeah, you and it was amazing it. to see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They travelled from Dublin. There's one next. In the, it's actually on Letter Guest Beach next Saturday morning. Uh, there's a club from Galway coming out. They they should have 25 to 50 anglers, and they're driving from Galway, and it's on our doorstep, and we don't use it. <laughs> I think it'd be great for for people who might have even a remote interest to go along on that day and just see yeah. how it's done because it, it, the, the rods are fantastic and see them kind of sticking in the sand. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. They're and just, I mean, it's amazing to see it. And to be honest, you, yeah, you know, another point on that is that people are actually, I think some of, some people can be put off by it because they think it's a big expensive game. It's not. If you have a long fishing rod and a half piece of reel, that's all you need. You don't need another thing. And that is literally what you need. A lot of us might be carrying our bags in our back and our big boxes, but that's just carrying a load of gear because as you do, it's like our golfers, you have from probably more clothes in the shed than you have in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but it, it, it isn't an expensive game to get into, but um, uh, as I say, let her get you now, there'll be a club there on Saturday morning, and the, as far as I know, the last count, there was 28, I think, was the actual count. They were coming out all the way up from Galway and Mayo to fish their guest. And it's okay. on our doorstep, and we don't even know about it. <laughs> okay. Well, it's absolutely brilliant, uh, Robert. Just give people the uh, contact there for... The, yeah, we, the, have a contact. We, have, we have a contact. If anyone... I mean, most people do Facebook at this stage. Um, we have a Clifton Sea Angling page. Okay. And um, you can look, go on Facebook, look on the Clifton Sea Angling page. And um, the also the other contact, you have Clifton C at gmail.com. And my own number, um, Robert King's number, if I can give out the number. Yeah, that's all right. you can. You can, and my own number is uh, 87 Okay, Robert, the very best look with the biggest ray in the bay on Sunday the 15th. Hopefully you'll have a great crowd of people there, and it sounds like a really wonderful idea, so hopefully it'll go well for you. Thanks, Brim. Thanks very much. Not at all. all. Bye, Thanks. bye, Robert. Bye. Take care. Take care. No, there's Robert King with a really exciting idea there for that. And um, as I say, the shore angling is a very important thing all over the country, all over the world, in fact. I mean, we don't do much of it here in the West, as we were just saying there. But that group coming out on Saturday, if you happen to be out around the Lettergesh area, go and have a look at it. It is really exciting to see it. And it's uh, something different, as I say. And when he's talking about all that lovely fish he catches himself, I think I'll take it up myself for the winter. Anyway, that's a um, great one there for next Sunday, the 15th. Or not next Sunday, Sunday week, the 15th. Uh, from 12 until 5 they'll be out fishing along by Clifton Bay and you have to register at the boat beach at the boat club on the beach road from 11 o'clock and uh, really interesting to have that we're going to